Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new custom material within the custom material library, material and asset library that we created in the last video. So all I've done here is I've used a primitive box and created a, a sheet of plywood effectively, 12mm thick and 1 meter by um, 0.6. Now, if you just jump into up here into the material browser, you see that the only material we've got in the local document is a generic material. You start by creating a new one by clicking this down here, and the first thing you need to do is fill out some some details here. So, I'll just get on with that in a second. You'll want to fill in to whichever standard your company uses. And some keywords will help with searching later on. Right, so once you've got those filled out, you can come across into the appearance tab. And here you can set up a completely custom material. Um, if you so desire, you can pick the type of mapping in that that's default for that material. Um, in this case, for this video, I'm just going to use um, one of the default Autodesk materials. To do that, I'll click on this uh, Replace Asset button up here, which will open up the material, the Appearance Assets browser. Because I'm uh, using Maple, I'm just going to take a look and see if there's a Maple material already in the library. And sure enough, there is. So we'll, we're just going to use that and hit Apply. We'll close off the Asset browser for now, and now we need to set a physical um, physical asset. Um, I could, as you could see, if Maple was here as well. And it is, but um, it's actually a hardwood. So, because this is a ply based product, I'm going to use ply instead and, and transfer that across. And I just want to check that the densities and um, other data, well, for the most part, this doesn't really apply to, to wood, but um, and that's that's close enough to what I'm, what I'm after for this example. So, I'm going to apply that now. It's important that you apply each change between each tab um, otherwise you the changes aren't saved now we can cancel out of that and right click and assign that to selection and now we can see that the, the new material has been applied okay so um, as it stands this material is just in our document so if we want to get it into our library um, to, we can copy it across, but as it stands, there's no um, categories in the material. I was going to create one here, call it fly, and just by dragging and dropping the material, it assigns that particular material to fly, and it saved it into the library. And as you can see, there's a mismatch between the two materials, so just well, with regards to the category. Now, if we copy that back and get a message saying that the local copy is going to be used because the, the same name exists in both documents. To rectify that we have to assign selection to the generic and delete that material and then copy that one back and assign selection again. Okay so you can do this with uh, a ton of materials. It's best if you, um, in my opinion, if you create a, a collection of materials in your document first and then gradually move them across. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps and um, this concludes the tutorial. Cheers, until next time.